financial problems, elder law, tax problems, business matters, divorce, personal injury, bankruptcy, your life, your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now, here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Today's show is Do I Have a Problem? Good morning, Jenny Lingle. Good morning, Ken. Good to be here. Jeffrey Kirshner. Good morning, and I think I do have a problem. I'm not going to ask what it is at this point. <laughs> Brian Small. You know, good morning. He's, good morning. He stole my, my whole thing. I was going to say, you have clear. a problem no, too. <laughs> I'd say it's clear that you have a problem, but that's not the topic of today's discussion. The motivation of the title of the show is the commercial that you typically see where it's, I've been listening to it on the radio for the gambler, and they're asking, do I have a problem? And, and, and you ask the question, well, do you uh, gamble and not tell your spouse about it and so forth? So I wanted to transition that topic to us today of a couple of topics. Do I have a debt problem? Question, you're making decent money, but you're not saving anything. You got credit card balances of $40,000, but you're making your payments. You pay more than your minimum payments. You're putting a little bit away into your 401k, but not much. Do you have a problem? Yes. You say yes. Yes, if you have interest, absolutely. Yes, clearly, that's a, right. it's a high rate of interest. I would venture to say that most people out there in that circumstance don't realize that they have a problem. What they're gonna say is, yeah, I'm carrying some credit card debt, and uh, but I make the payments. Nobody, I, I've never been late on a payment. I have a 720 credit score um, and I'm paying actually more than the minimum payments every month. So why do you think I have a problem? Well, the, the, real, the reality here is that you're living beyond your means. You're spending too much money, you are in debt, and you are wasting your future. Period. Well, I think the most you're important thing is you're not retirement. saving anything. Right. You're wasting your retirement. I mean, we well, by the way, is that what your <clears throat> problem was that you mentioned at the beginning of the show? Well, I can't talk about it now. It's a physician-patient relationship. I oh, can't discuss. Okay. But okay, there's a lot of commercials. <laughs> that, there's a lot of commercials that we see that could resolve that issue, but I'm sure that's not what no, it is. No, but it certainly not. sounds like okay. you have a problem. If if what you're doing is maybe you're paying your credit card maybe a little bit more than a minimum, but if you still have interest, you're paying juice on things that you're not even purchasing. And, and that's my point. Here, take take it this way: if you've got forty thousand dollars of credit card debt. You're paying a thousand dollars a month at seven. Per, uh, you're paying how much? Are you paying? You're paying eighteen percent interest on forty thousand dollars of credit card debt is seventy two hundred dollars a year, and your monthly payments are a thousand dollars a month. Brian, you always talk about the credit card trap. If you're making that thousand dollars a month payment, even though you pay a little bit more on the credit cards, you when you, you're using up all your cash, when you have to buy something, you charge it. Your credit card balances never go down. I mean, this is what happens with credit card balances, and I'm, it, it, you go like this. They go, do, 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 do. Every month. Every month. They go up, down, up, Actually, down, up, they down. kind of creep up usually in that circumstance. True, and, and then, again, the focus here is, is why are you having a problem? Well, you look at, you look at the, the big picture and you say, what aren't I doing? All right, so let me put some numbers out there. Here's why I say it's a problem, and it goes to what Jenny said. You're not saving any money, and you could be. If you take that $1,000 a month you're paying on the cards that's going on indefinitely for infinity, $1,000 a month at 7% interest in 10 years is $173,000. In 20 years, it's $520,000. Now, Brian always likes to point out it doesn't have to be $1,000 a month. Suppose you're making $500 a month payments on your credit cards because you've got $20,000 of credit card debt. In 10 years, $500 a month is $86,000. In 20 years, it's $260,000. So the point is, 
you have a problem and your problem is you're throwing away your retirement. So you're going to get to be 65 and 70 and you're going to have $40,000 of credit card debt. You're going to have zero savings and you're going to be so proud when you walk into a store and say, oh, but I got a 720 credit score my whole life. What's that going to do when you can't put food on your table? Well, I don't think people appreciate the fact that when you have a credit card, it's tantamount to a loan. And so you are, you may get the credit to buy your purchases, but it is a loan and there's always interest on the loan. And always you're paying more money. And it's more serious on. interest. It's 18, it's 20, it's 29%. It's $35 late fees if you're, a day, if you're an hour late in making your payment. What's the solution? Well, you've got to draw the line in the sand. You've got to eliminate the credit card debt in some fashion. And you can go down three different roads. You can look at bankruptcy to eliminate the debt. You can look at debt resolution to eliminate the debt. Or you can create a plan uh, through budgeting that will eliminate the debt over a short period of time. One way or the other, you have to stop going into debt and eliminate it, period. The biggest thing about when you have a problem, go back to whether it's a drinking problem, a gambling problem, a credit card problem, is you have to recognize that you have the problem. Once you recognize that you have the problem, the next step is committing to changing it. I think the biggest problem in America, for the American consumer with credit card debt, is they don't, they're not aware that they have a problem. They're sitting there saying, you know, I hate to pay the interest, but I like to have the card. I get free points. I get, I get to buy, I get gift cards from Cheesecake Factory with my points. They don't realize that they're giving away their retirement. And the only way to really hammer that point down is I think you've got to go back and focus on what would that money mean to me if I wasn't giving it and paying it out every month to the credit card companies. Instead, I was putting it in the bank. I was earning interest on it. Where's that going to get me in 10 and 20 years? It's going to get you a retirement. Three-point retirement plan. Own your home free and clear. Have zero debt and have some savings in the bank at the time of retirement. That's the goal. If you continue paying on the credit cards, month in and month out, before you know, you've thrown away 20, 30 years of valuable savings for yourself and you got zilch. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke, and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. A lifetime of hard work. If you don't have the right plan in place, you can lose your home, your savings, and more. And you didn't come this far to lose everything. Samasco Law wants you to know that laws are changing. Today, the average cost of nursing home care is $85,000 a year. With proper planning, we can help protect your life savings and get you the Medicaid and nursing home benefits you deserve. How much can you afford to lose? Call Samasco Law today. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Fav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. 
You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. We're back. So we talked about the, do I have a debt problem? Let me throw out the next one. Do I have a budgeting problem? Well, I manage to pay my bills every month. I even put a little into my 401k, not as much as I should. Everybody has a budgeting problem. Every single person, because the theory is, is that you look at what you're spending, and the question is, is are you wasting money? It's not are you spending money, but are you wasting money? And the, the, the concept behind budget management is unlike belt tightening. Everybody's familiar with belt tightening, the art of denying yourself something for a period of time so you can save up money to achieve a short-term goal. Fix the furnace, fix the transmission, fix the engine Wait, in the be car. Before you get to that point, is, uh, I want to is, is that I'm wasting money or am I giving up savings that I could have if I budgeted better? Well, they're intrinsically... Uh, the same. If you, if you don't waste money, that money goes into savings. No, or if, if don't, I don't waste money, then I can spend it on something else. Well, that's, that's <laughs> part of the problem. When, when you, with budget management, the first thing we do is we categorize our spending and, and, and make it simple. Necessary spending, this is spending that keeps a roof over your head. Not necessary spending, this is what we have to have fun with. Money that we're, we're spending and we can have some fun with it. The Amazon boxes that show up on the porch. Sure. And then there's sort of necessary spending, which is where... Does that there, also include the little Amazon boxes that get into the mailbox as well as the ones on the porch? <laughs> All right, come on, seriously. You've got, you've got this sort of necessary spending is when one of you thinks it's, it's almost necessary and one of you thinks it's completely ridiculous. Oh, you mean like when you're husband and wife together? Yeah, the don't argue with your spouse column. So what, what, what would be that? That would be like going the, the wife getting her nails done? The wife, hair, all right. Or is on. that an absolute essential, Jenny? Um, that would be a, a hair and nails you don't mess with. So, so there are, we, we, I won't get into it, but there are things that the wife thinks are 100% essential and would sooner not eat than, than avoid. And for the guy, it's the going guy, to Best Buy. It is, it is. It's the anything from Best Buy. This guy. is not a paid commercial for Best Buy. It's going no. to the electronics store. Yeah. We so, can't say radio check. But, but the, the, the key here is, is first you categorize your spending and you see what it takes to keep the roof over your head. Okay? And then we see what we have in disposable income. Disposable income is everything that doesn't keep our roof over our head. Now we look at that spending and we grade it. And we say, what quality do we get from that spending? You can have, out of, on a scale of 1 to 10, Maybe you get you go to a restaurant for your anniversary and that's an eight and a half, or you go to McDonald's. That's a right, two so and a half. So you great. So what, the, what what does that get you? Well, we're trying to figure out where the spending is, and if and if a passing grade in high school is a sixty five percent or a six and a half, anything that you're spending. Below. If you want to get out of high school, yes. If you want to go to college, I think you need to do a little better. <laughs> that's a little bit. Buddy. That's a little bit different. But then we start to say any spending that that doesn't give you at least a six and a half on the satisfaction meter of life is probably wasted spending. Right. Yeah. Well, let me. And then flip. Wait, wait. There's more. And then you said, don't you just spend it again if you uh, on something right. else? The reality is, is we establish goals to achieve and what do you want to achieve i want a vacation fund i want a retirement fund i want to repair the house fund and you start to put money the into money buckets. that you are wasting into those buckets right. so you you lay this out and i listen to it and it sounds mechanical but it's not driving it home for me but let me tell you i had an epiphany in a conversation that we had the other day and what came to me was this if you can take your budget and trim $500 a month off of it, or 1000 suppose I'm making, I'm a family of four, we're making $85,000 a year. I can probably find four or $500 a month that you're wasting. All right. Here's what dawned on me. Think about what we were just talking about with the credit card companies. If all with, with the credit cards, if all of a sudden you can find five hundred dollars a month in my budget, and I start saving that rather than wasting it, five hundred dollars, seven percent interest, ten years is eighty-six thousand five hundred dollars, twenty years it's two hundred and sixty thousand, 
four hundred and sixty-seven dollars. Oh, you also got the problem the, eliminating the credit card debt. If you do it in concert with each other, now we're saving fifteen hundred a, a month. A ton of money. Fifteen hundred a month. Ten years is two hundred and fifty-nine thousand six hundred dollars. Twenty years, seven hundred and eighty-one thousand. That is all of a sudden meaningful to me from the standpoint of a retirement. All of a sudden, saving five hundred dollars a month doesn't sound exciting to me until I translate it to the savings account. And that's also what applied to the credit card problem. Now, the other thing that you taught me is from budget management is it's about finding ways to spend that satisfy yourself rather than just spending. And how I shifted it around was where I, maybe it's getting old, I don't know, older, not old, but I like to shop, but now I get a charge out of, sh my wife the same way, we get a charge out of finding the good deal. So I'll go to the mall, I'll see a sport coat, I'll see a pair of jeans that I like when it first comes out. No way am I going to spend 100% retail. I'll stock it over the couple of months, and then when it goes down to 60% of what it was originally priced at, and then maybe you've got some free coupons and so on and so forth, and you walk home and you get the $300 sport coat for $89, we play, we come home and say, guess how much I paid for this? And that becomes fun. So the point is, you can change around with Brian, who's a guru on this budget management and, this, and, and the rating system, and find extra money, and then when you take the extra money and you put it into the bank, just like you find extra money by not paying your credit cards, all of a sudden, you have the retirement money. And, and then some. Because I worry about that. Where are we going to be if everybody who turns 75 still has $50,000 of credit card payments, the credit card debt, they're still making a mortgage payment, and they've got $1,500 a month coming in on Social Security? That doesn't work. That's reality, and you need to take a look at it. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. A lifetime of hard work. If you're approaching retirement and don't have the right plan in place, you can lose your home, your investments, and your savings. And you didn't come this far to lose everything. Putting a solid strategy in place with Samasco Law legally protects your assets as well as your wishes. Since a will doesn't cover you medically or financially, Samasco Law goes beyond ordinary asset management protection to safeguard everything you have. How much can you afford to lose? Call Samasco Law today. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Thav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. Let's do announcements. I want to remind you to listen to us Tuesdays, 11.30 a.m. and Saturdays, 7 a.m. for Law and Reality Live on Praise 102.7. Then on Thursdays from 3 to 4, Law and Reality Now with Cliff Russell on 9, 10 a.m. Be sure and sign up for our monthly contest, free $50 Visa gift card, Law and Reality hat, and copy of Dump Your Debt. Go to the websites lawandreality.com or thavgross.com. We have seminars coming up on Wednesday, January 17th, 6 to 7.30 p.m. The debt fix is in for this year. We're going to walk through all the systems and methods and ways in which we go about solving debt problems from the standpoint of eliminating debt so that you can start saving that money for future uh, retirement. If you're paying four, five hundred dollars a month, three, four hundred dollars a month on your credit cards, imagine if you can stop making those payments on the credit cards and instead put that money into the bank and start saving it. Over 10, 20 years, you have a boatload of money to retire with. The alternative is you keep paying the credit cards, you get to 65, 70, and you have no retirement, you're still making a mortgage payment, and you're living on Social Security and you can't make ends meet. 
Attendees get a free copy of my book, Dump Your Debt. Jeff Kirshner will also talk about disability. Brian's going to walk us through all the systems that we use with the tools of financial crisis management to eliminate and modify debt. Sign up at thavgross.com, lawandreality.com, or call 888-235-HELP. Then on Wednesday, January 31, 6 to 7.30 p.m., we have an estate planning seminar, Elimination of the Estate Plan Procrastinator. This is a seminar designed to address the problems of New Year's resolutions. Everyone says, I'm going to do estate plans. Then they never get around to doing it, and before you know, it's September. You want to attend this seminar, you'll go through all the methods that we use and systems and the essential elements of an estate plan, powers of attorney for health care, durable power of attorney, estates and wills, how to avoid major mistakes in an estate plan. Attendees get a gold certificate worth $300 off of an estate plan. Sign up at thavgross.com, lawandreality.com, or call 888-235-HELP. Remember, you're always entitled to come in for a free consultation at Thav Gross. You can also meet with Pat Samasco on elder law, Medicaid issues, uh, Jeff Kirshner on workers' comp, disability, Brian on financial matters, Jenny on tax matters, myself on business matters. Just go to the websites to request a free consult or call anytime in the office, 888-235-HELP. Be sure and check out the websites. There's a new report on how to save your home from foreclosure along with retirement uh, report by Pat Simesco on Social Security, and also a report on how to uh, start a new business and find financing sources for the business. Now back to the show. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt but you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Next problem. Do I have a tax problem? I manage to pay my taxes, but I'm always behind. So I'm always catching up, but I, but, I, but I pay them. I pay my 2016 taxes during 2017. Sometimes I file late. I almost always pay late. Do I have a tax problem? Absolutely, because what's happening when you're paying late is you can pay up to a 25% um, penalty for failure to pay timely. So when I come across this situation where someone's just lagging maybe a year behind, um, a lot of people think, well, I should pay the year that's behind and then I'll do, you know, let's pay the oldest first. I usually say you're already tapped out or close to tapped out on that penalty. Let's stop, maybe put that on a payment plan and then pay your current taxes so you stop continuously year after year yeah. paying let's such let's, huge penalties. Let's get the penalties out there so everyone's clear. If you file late, which should be called the stupidity penalty. <laughs> if you file late, you are charged 5% a month for five months up to a maximum of 25%. So if your tax liability is $10,000, you've instantly turned it into $12,500 in five months. You do not, there is, if you do not, if you file your return on time, you're gonna pay a late penalty for paying, that's a half a percent per month up to 25%. Well, a half a percent per month takes 
50 months to get to 25%. If you put it in perspective, the late payment penalty is the equivalent to credit card interest because you're paying a half a percent per month, it accumulates over 50 months, and on top of that, they're gonna charge you interest on the amount that you owe, it still comes out less than what you're paying on a credit card. I'm not suggesting to you it's a good habit to pay your taxes late, but that's not a severe penalty on the federal. And I wanna point but out- filing late, both. filing late is crazy, and a lot of people do it. Yeah, I was just saying that I want to, they can assess both. Some people think, well, they're only going to assess the failure to file or the failure to pay. I have a lot of clients say that, and I say, no, if, if you well, don't file always, or pay, you, you can have up to 50% penalties, plus they charge interest on those penalties and as for, well. And for sure they will. One Why do people file late? Well, people are afraid that if they owe money and they can't pay it, something bad is going to happen. Or, or, or is it that they think, if I don't file the return, they'll never find me. They won't yeah. know I owe the money. I, I think it's more tantamount to what Brian says. I think when people are looking to file, they're afraid of what their tax consequences are, and so they hold off on that, mistakenly thinking that they can work it out. And, when there, and there's a huge pro, pro, uh, problem that's starting to be created in the United States. The late filer is starting to be ineligible in certain jurisdictions to file a bankruptcy and discharge the tax obligation. Wait a second, you, you, t taxes are not dischargeable in bankruptcy. Income taxes are dischargeable in the Sixth Circuit. I just heard live. a bankruptcy attorney uh, talking at a convention. He said taxes are not dischargeable. Okay, so are you telling me he's wrong? He's wrong, yes. Well, maybe he, if he was referring to sales tax or withholding tax, the civil penalties that individuals can be assessed as business owners are not dischargeable in bankruptcy. But However, income, income taxes are. are dischargeable. See, he didn't even say that. If the tax came due at least three years ago, the tax returns were filed at least two years ago, and you haven't been assessed in the eight months previous to filing the bankruptcy, they're dischargeable in bankruptcy, you can walk away from the obligation, which is sometimes better than the other solutions that we have, like offering compromise, because it's one and done versus offering compromise, you have to stay clean for five additional years and file all your tax returns for five years. Yeah, the offering compromise, you see it advertised a lot on TV and the radio, and it is a good program. You can resolve a tax debt for pennies on the dollar if you have no assets, no equity in your home, no 401k, no IRA. It's a good program, but there is that stay clean rule. When they say, we call it the stay clean rule, it's you gotta stay clean for five years. File your returns on time, pay all your taxes in full, Otherwise, they pull back the offer that they gave you. They revoke it. Absolutely. So you gotta be careful. But here's the point. You gotta recognize you have a problem. If you're paying your taxes late and you're incurring the late fees and, the, and, and so forth, you're, that money could be going to savings. If you could budget and save $500 a month, that could be going to savings. If you get rid of your credit card debt, that could be going to savings. It's about your future you need to plan. Have a great week. We'll be back next week with Law and Reality.